if you wanna go, I'm down. Hello and welcome to Credence Digital Learning. I am your English teacher Asta Jain and today we are going to start the term 2 syllabus for class 10. We will be starting with the first flight, the first lesson of our syllabus that is Glimpses of India. Now as the title suitably suggests, Glimpses of India. Glimpses ka matlab hota hai jhalkiya. We know that India is a country of cultural diversity. It is a country wherein you will find all different kinds of climates, different kinds of culture, traditions, crops and all. So we basically have three kinds of stories in glimpses of India. The first story is Baker from Goa. The second story is Kurg and the third is tea from Assam. So we are going to begin with the first story that is Baker from Goa. It is written by Lucio Rodriguez and as the title suitably suggests, it is the pen portrait of a baker. Now children, please keep this in mind. Here you will not have a story, but you will have some pointers which you will have to buy heart. Usually, जैसे हमारे literature में होता है कि कहानी चलती रहती है, हम समझते जाते हैं और याद भी हो जाती है. यहाँ it's not a story actually. कुछ कुछ pointers हैं जो किसी particular time ke baare mein bataye gaye hai to you will have to buy her certain names you will have to buy her certain points so please listen to me carefully so this is the pen portrait of a baker pen portrait portrait means picture pen means jo pen se banaye gaye picture ho that means in words you will understand about bakers from goa narrator's elders have always heard and talked of the good old portuguese days wherein the loaves of bread were very popular Eaters of loaves have vanished, but the makers are still there. You will still find the mixers, the molders, the furnaces lying, which proves that yes, Goa was a place which was popular for loaves of bread. The thud and jingle was the sound which symbolized a baker's arrival in the morning. The bakers were also called as padders. They were the people who were real gentlemen because they used to wish good morning to the women of the house. Early morning when they used to come, their bamboo sticks used to make noises and children used to know that the bakers have come. Loaves of bread were bought by the paskin and the baskin of the house who were the maid servants. Then what about children? Kya children loaves nahi kharitte the? Are children ko to bread bangles pasand the na? Kyunki wo meethe hua karte the. To the children longed for bread bangles. The baker were the friend, the companion and the guide for the people and they were real gentlemen of the time. The marriage gifts of those days were meaningless without bowl, B-O-L, bowl. What is this bowl? It's a kind of a sweet bread. Even during the engagements, the women of the house were expected to prepare sandwiches. The cakes and bolinas were a must for all the festivals and Christmas. So shows that bread and the loaves of bread had a lot of importance in good old Portuguese days. Now about the dressing of the bakers. The bakers used to wear kabai. Kabai was a long frock which was down the knees. And the bakers of the narrator's childhood days used to wear dress that was longer than the shirt and the trousers but then shorter than the shirt and the pants. So they had a peculiar dressing also. Now about the accounts. The bakers used to maintain their accounts on the walls at the end of the month. Obviously, the account hai, jo bhi financial statement is in the end of the month because in the end of the month they will understand how much bread they have given. And last but not the least, the bakers of those days were good, old, wealthy people. They used to have a plump physique and that's why they were like jackfruit the, as compared to these days. So, we have from Goa that in the good old Portuguese days, the baker was a profession but a friend, companion, guide. Hota tha. The baker used to have a jackfruit like appearance. How they were gentlemen and how they were bread, sweet breads, cakes, bolinas, bowls were so popular. Now we will be moving to the second story that is Kurg. So moving on to the second story from the glimpses of India that is Kurg. 
now here also as i have told you in the baker from goa that we will be having some pointers and you are supposed to buy hard those pointers because children this is the description of that particular place this is not in the form of a story so kindly keep attention to every point that is being spoken so a beautiful place named as kurg which is also called as kodagu which is the smallest district of karnataka it is located somewhere midway between mysore and coastal town of mangalore the story kurg is written by lokesh abril and kurg is considered as a piece of heaven that is drifted from the kingdom of god and such is the beauty of kurg Kurg is the home to evergreen forests, spices and coffee. The air breathes of invigorating coffee. The people of Kurg are supposed to have two origins. One is Greek and another is Arabic. How Greek? People believe that Alexander's army while moving some part of it settled in the south when return became impossible. and the greek origin is visible in some of the rituals and the marriages and the customs of the people of kurg now what about this arabic origin the people of kurg wear a long coat with embroidered waist belt which is called as kufiya which resembles the kufiya which is worn by the arab people and that is why some people believe that they have origin from arabs So now talking about the people of Kurg the people of Kurg are generally considered very hospitable they are always ready to discuss about the tales of their valor and courage and bravery the Kurg regiment the Kurg regiment is one of the most celebrated regiments and the first chief of india army general kariyappa also was from Kurg Kurg people are the only people who are allowed to carry the firearms without license and such is the bravery and the valor of the people of Kurg. Kaveri river obtains its water from the forests of Kurg and such is the magnificence of the area of Kurg. Now talking about the wildlife we have mahasir freshwater fish which is found in abundance we have kingfishers which are a kind of bird who dive deep for their catch we have wild elephants in abundance and along with all these we have langurs and malabar squirrels who throw partially eaten fruit in water to create ripples and such beautiful is the flora and the fauna of the area of kurg talking more about the landscape and the natural beauty of the place of kurg when you land on the brahmagiri hills you get a panoramic view of the misty landscape of kurg and such is the beauty of kurg agar aap rope bridge se chadte hue jayenge to aap 64 acre island pe pahunch jayenge jiska naam hai nisargadhama that is yet another example of natural beauty Last Tibetan settlements are seen near Bailekupe wherein you will see a lot of monks who are dressed in red ochre and yellow robes and that is the beauty of the people of Kurg. This way we have discussed about the landscape about the geographical location about the flora fauna and the natural beauty of Kurg and that is why people rightly say that it is a piece of heaven that is drifted from the kingdom of god swarg ki ek jhalak agar dekhni ho to kurg chale jaiye aur wahan aapko prakriti ka aisa nazara dekhne ko milega jo shayad kabhi kahin bhi dekhne ko na mile so now that we have discussed about two important areas from the chapter glimpses of india we have discussed about the baker from goa and the second story was about a place named kurg our third story is tea from assam now tea as soon as we hear this word tea we start having that feeling of getting refreshed and energetic because this is a drink that is drunk by the maximum people across the globe So tea from Assam is a story that is relating to the origin the historical background of tea and some important facts related to tea. Tea from Assam is written by Arup Kumar Datta. We have two major characters in the story. One is Pranjol and another is Rajveer. Pranjol was born and brought up in Assam and that's why tea plantation was a thing that he had seen. If you want to go on down Then I will make a big 